To install WordPress, we need to log into our control panel. So in the your account info email, we have our control panel and the link to it. So go ahead and click on it. And just simply type in or copy and paste your username and password. So I'm just going to right click and press copy and paste it in here. And highlight this one and press uh, control C on a PC or command C on a Mac and control V on a PC or command V on a Mac to paste it. All right. Or of course you could just type it in. Once you do that, just click on login. Once you're logged in, we can exit out of the survey and scroll down to software slash services. So software ser slash services and click quick install. So just click on that. And once we do that, we're going to want to click on WordPress either here or here. So just click on WordPress and we're going to want to install WordPress for free. So just click on install WordPress. And now it's going to ask you which domain name or website name do you want to install WordPress on? I have a whole bunch of domain names. You'll probably only have one. And this is because I have the baby plan. I could put as many domain names as I want. Uh, if you have the hatching plan, then you're only limited to one, but you can always upgrade later. So I'm going to do Dance Plumbing LA and I'm going to leave this blank right here because if this is uh, filled out, then it's going to install WordPress on our website.com slash something when we want it just on our main website. Now we can put in our admin email, tylermore at gmail.com and our blog title. I'm just going to do it the business name, which is dance plumbing and our admin user. I'm going to put Tyler and first name and last name, Tyler Moore. Then I'm going to click install WordPress. Once we do that, it's going to install up here. So it's installing and we just have to wait a little while for it. And it says your installation is complete. Click here to view your notifications. So now it's going to give us all of our uh, username and passwords and everything that we need to log in to our website. The only issue we have now is that because you've uh, just gotten your domain name, like we've just got dancepalmingla.com, that it's not going to work immediately. So it needs a little time to propagate, it's called. So we have to wait anywhere from uh, four hours to 24 hours. Sometimes it happens uh, in as little as two hours, but so we just need to take a little break right now and come back. I'm going to go on a hike and then I'm going to come back in about four hours and we're going to check to see if it works. So I will see you soon after the break. Okay, so I'm back from my hike. It was a very nice day here in Los Angeles. And now we're going to check to see if our website works. So that break was just to give time for our website to start working because we have just we had just purchased it. If you purchased it a long time ago, days ago, you don't need to do that break. All right. So now we're going to go to danceplumbing.la.com forward slash WP dash admin. That's how you log in. So before we do that, we're just going to go to the regular website. So let's type in our domain name, open up a new tab, and we'll do dansplumbingla.com. And we see that our website does indeed now have WordPress on it and it's working. So that's really cool. And now we can log into our website by entering in our username and password uh, into the area where you log in. So that's forward slash WP dash admin. Make sure to keep this information safe, copy it somewhere, um, or print it out. So let's go ahead and log in. This is just the regular default website. It's not that impressive, but it definitely saved you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So let's log in. So let's go to our website.com forward slash WP dash A D M I N and press enter. Or you can of course, click right here. Now it's going to ask us for our username, which is 
Tyler. Yours will be different, I hope, unless your name is Tyler too. Tyler, and password is this. So I'm just gonna click on it and copy it because it's crazy. All right, so now we can just paste it in there. Once we do that, we can log in. Okay, now we are logged into the back end of our website, and the back end of our website is called the dashboard. So once we have saved all of this information right here, make sure you've saved it, we can exit out of this tab, and we can exit out of the email tab. 